Hi, I'm Moom and welcome to Creative DIY with Moom Das. Today I'm joining Christy from Christy Creates for the Chic for Cheap Challenge. So the links will be given down below. And I'm going to make a lampshade, a folded or a pleated lampshade right from the scratch. It's a beautiful DIY and it looks very elegant, very chic. These kind of lampshades are very expensive when it comes to buying from the market. But if you make them with handmade thick paper, it can be really very inexpensive. And the method is no rocket science. It's easy step tutorial today. So you will enjoy making this lampshade with me. And I think this DIY of making a beautiful lampshade is perfect for this time of the year because Diwali is around the corner. The time of festivity is right here. So I want to wish you all happy Diwali. May this festival of lights bring happiness and prosperity and health to your family, to your surroundings and eradicate all kinds of negativity and darkness from your life. Let's begin with today's DIY. These are the two pieces which make a lampshade. So this is the lower rim and then this is the attachment for the bulb from the lamp down below. The bulb comes here and from here down to this lower edge there is a plastic or styrene. I think that's what it's called. It's a sheet that connects from this point to this. So we get a conical kind of lampshade. So once my own lampshade was broken, I took the old uh, fabric and the plastic cover around it and kept the frame because I thought I can reuse it. So let me try doing it today. So I measured this distance. Now I have this beautiful pretty paper. I want to share this with you. This is handmade paper. Nice and thick. It has got beautiful texture. It's more like a crocodile skin uh, texture and a beautiful orange festive color. So I'm going to use this for making my lampshade. And I'm going to make the accordion fold lampshade which look really nice. So I place these attachments like this and check the distance. So it's a little extra. I want a little extra because I want to make it a little more, you know, I want to give it a little more height here. Like this. So let's begin so once the height is decided then we can start so i have a lot more of this paper so i'm going to first fold one piece and if the length is short i'll add more pieces to it now to begin i'm turning it over so i'm marking about an inch from the edge so this marking at the back side will later be a guide for me I'll tell you as we go ahead with the process. So on both the edges, on the top as well as the bottom. Now what I'm doing here is called an accordion fold. I'm just folding it this side and that side. I mean like no better way to explain it. So it's like zigzag if you see at a cut section. So I'm going to do this the whole length of the paper. So once I was making the folds, I made sure they are even, they all come till the edges so that they are regular folds like this. Now this definitely will be small. If I place it like this around this portion, this is this is definitely small. So now I get an idea of I think I need four more such paper to cover the whole length. So I'm going to repeat this process on three more such pieces. After I folded, I realized my line wasn't even. Now you can see 
so these are little corrections that happen as one proceeds with the process now i'm punching hole i'm holding the folds like this and i'm punching hole in the midline it's a tough paper so i just have to take one pleat at a time but if you're using a thinner cardstock paper it will be you can take a bunch together so basically the holes have to be uh, aligned so that they all fall in the same place now i've punched the holes and these holes are on the same line and these will go into the wire ends so similarly i'll do the other paper also on both on both top and the bottom edges so i just bunched everything together and held them tight in position with the elastic bands and i have glued the three pieces of paper that i have made i can show you the joint space here is one such joint it is such that the folds are not disturbed and one cannot really find them unless one really looks for them so there are two joints here and later when i join these two edges i'll show you how i did it so that it looks seamless now once this was done you see there is this line and all the holes are on the line so next thing now if you want to make a hanging pendant you can just bunch everything together You can just bunch everything together, put a string through it, and you can have one of those hanging pendant uh, lamps or lamp shades like this. But because I'm using this frame, which is, you know, these are closed circles, these are metals and cannot be detached. So therefore, I have to find a different way out. I just cannot string through them. So a little engineering here. So I'm just holding these pieces, the back side. I'm facing the back side of my paper and these are the holes that I've made and what I did is I'm going to make some nicks or cuts these cuts are from this folded edge till the holes that I made just till the holes So I'll do the top portion later. Let me show you with the bottom part. Now I just push my ring through the slit till the hole. It's just so easy as that, especially the lower ring being a bigger one. It's so much easier to work with. Now to hold everything in place, once I have you know, pushed it through and this is the cut edge I'm going to seal it close though it will not slip through but still to be doubly sure I'm using a little bit of paper tape and holding close the cut edges so I'll keep on repeating the process feeding the ring and then tape close everything so here I have put all the edge lower edge and here is the joint space after I do the other edge I'll just add some glue and stick it together now going on to the and I have also added paper tape on all of these so these are tight and nice and secured now I turn it the right side, the bottom's down, this is the top portion. If I have an attachment which is the broad one, I'll make a cylindrical one, but I'll be making a conical one. So this is the attachment for this. Here the bulb will come and this will be the top edge. So the same thing, I'm going to feed in these pieces till the ring portion and glue it tight there for me it's easy because there are three portions in this so one third 
uh, of these papers will go in and I'll secure it tight there. Isn't this gorgeous? It's all ready. And this is just the joint opening space. So I will add some glue on this edge. Put the two pleats together and hold it with some clothes pin. And this will just you know vanish. You will not be able to find it anymore. So once this dries up, the lampshade is ready. I really love how my lamp turned out. It looks so elegant with this lampshade on it, the corrugated edges, the folded or the accordion fold, or if you want to call it pleated lampshade, looks really chic. I love the structure, the shape, the size as well. It's so perfect and the color is brilliant and goes very well with the festive season and my warm decor style. I hope you enjoyed my today's tutorial. It's easy tutorial. You can use your choice of paper, colors to suit your decor style and make your own. It was easy, simple, yet a very fruitful DIY. If you like this video, please give this video a thumbs up. Share this video if you're new here and love budget DIYs. Do consider subscribing with the all notifications bell. I'll see you soon. Until then, be positive, be creative and be happy. Happy Diwali once again.